Hi, Hiram here. I realize that some have said that uh, this sterno testing is getting old and to uh, please move on to something worth my time, your time. But I have a couple more tests on the sterno that have been requested, so I thought I'd take care of one of them today. Rebecca, a.k.a. Reblin51, made a comment that I still think you should do a wick test with the gel fuel to see if it helps, hurts, or no difference. What, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what Rebecca's referring to is a video put out by Dave Canterbury of uh, Pathfinder School called Journal of the Yurt 18. In this video, he used a cotton ball wick in his can of gel, uh, gel fuel, and he was lighting it with a fire steel. <clears throat> I'd like to refer to an earlier Dave Canterbury video called Pathfinder Pack Stove Promo. Uh, this was about a week earlier than the previous video, where Mr. Canterbury was demo demoing his uh, Pathfinder Pack Stove, which was a small can of gel fuel. He didn't use Sterno, he just used gel fuel. In that one, <clears throat> that video, well I think he changed to the larger, larger size because of the pot stand that he has on it. The pot stand on this will fit on his water bottle and he wanted to use it for that. This one was a much smaller pot stand. But <clears throat> in that video, uh, he had referred to the fact that his water bottle had ice in it. So in that video, he started his small can with a cigarette lighter. But then later, when he used the bigger can with the bigger stove, <clears throat> he was using his fire steel, and he used a cotton ball wick down in it. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but I think the cotton ball was just a fire starter rather than a or fire starter aid rather than a wick. But I thought we'd give it a try here. Here I've got a used can of Sterno. It's been used, but it's plain Sterno. Room temperature is 59 degrees. Let's see what happens when I hit it with my blast match. I think this will start because it's still warm enough that there's vapors here. Yep. One strike and it goes. Now this can is uh, just plain gel fuel. Not plain, but I mean it has some uh, methanol alcohol in it. It's one of them that I've been playing with. It's a little more liquid. Let's see what happens here. Yep, one strike and it goes. Now, like I said, these are room temperature. I think there's vapors given off by this stuff when it's, you know, this warm. Now, what I have here is a can of Sterno that I've had in the freezer for a couple of hours, and I had it in this ice pack. See here what the temperature of this is. Okay, this is telling me that the temperature of this stuff is about hmm, 43. That's surprising. I thought it would be colder than that. 33 on the outside of the can. But before this gets up to room temperature, let's see what happens. I think when it's cold like this. When you're in a situation where you can have ice in your water, I think this stuff probably gets uh, to the point where there's no vapor on it. But let's see if I write here. That's one. Remember, those all started up in, what, one or two? Now, these are some pretty big sparks on here. But nothing. That's what I thought would happen. I think in the cold, that would light, I mean, in the, in the warm, if it's warmer, above freezing, it would probably light, or would light. We've done it before. But now that it, this is so cold, 
It just won't light. But if I stick a cotton ball in here, and I don't think I really need the whole thing. <coughs> Sorry, pardon my elbow there. Just take a cotton ball, stick it down in the gel. Now we've seen that cotton balls, lint, stuff like that, light up real easy. Doesn't matter what the temperature is, it'll light, just as long as it's not wet. So let's see what happens here. See that? First hit, it lights. Now the sternal's lit. Let's see if it makes a difference. No. I don't know. Wow, that's cool. See, it's not so much, I mean, the wick is lit. That's just the cotton burning. But it's the sternal around it that is lit. I don't think that that cotton is acting as a wick. It's just a fire starter. The fire steel will start the cotton up at any temperature, just about. I mean, if you had sub-zero or something, maybe you might have some problems. But... That's the sterno burning, not so much. The cotton's not soaking up any liquid or anything in burning. It's just the plain cotton burning and the sterno burning. So, I think that's what that's for, just so that you can start your sterno in the cold. Good idea, Lynn, or Red Lynn, Rebecca. Thanks for pointing that out to us. I have one more video that I have to do concerning Mr. Canterbury's uh, video using the gel fuel. But, and like I said, I thank you for watching. And like I've always said, I uh, look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, something like this. I always look forward to that. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Sorry, I'm just thinking about stuff here. Uh, going to piss off another guy. So anyway, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.